Hey guys, Alex here. Um, I just wanted to say hi and happy Sunday. Um, I just normally would be doing an open house on a Sunday when I'm working, but today I actually had a second final walkthrough for a property that has already closed. Um, but they had a seller rent back. So the sellers were in the property a little bit longer. Then we do a second final walkthrough to make sure everything is in good condition uh, before the buyers officially move in. So you might not know what that is, seller rent back. A lot of people aren't familiar with that term, so I'm just gonna run you through it really quick. Um, sometimes sellers want a little extra time to find a home um, or to close on their new home and they need um, that period of time to get those things done. Um, now, this is what I'm hearing from all my sellers right now. Hey, we want to make a move, but where are we going to go? You know, we know we could get a great price for our house right now, but where are we going? And I don't want to have to worry about, you know, not being able to find a place. Well, this is a great solution uh, because it gives sellers that peace of mind and that extra bit of space uh, to find the home that is the right fit for them. Um, so basically what that means for the purchaser is that the property will close, officially close, everything will switch over into the purchaser's name um, as far as the uh, homeowner's insurance and the title and the deed. Um, all of that will happen then. Um, only things that don't transfer over are the utilities. So when the purchaser um, takes title, their homeowner's insurance kicks in. So they essentially become landlords for uh, the sellers for a period of time. It could be just a few days to get things moved. Um, because the seller needed the proceeds to make their next purchase. Or it could be as much as 60 days, um, depending on what was important to that seller. Um, and as a purchaser, this can put you in a great position to be flexible to the seller's needs and can really make your offer stand out. Um, so sometimes this is a great choice. I'm always checking in with sellers, agents, listing agents, to see, hey, is this something that's important to your seller? Because sometimes it can give us a little bit of an edge in a purchase. Um, so um, yes, there is also a security deposit that is held um, that protects you. So if there were to be any damage to the property during this time period, um, you have that security deposit uh, just to protect yourself since it is your homeowner's insurance and your home um, that the sellers are just basically renting from you for a little bit longer. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about a seller rent back. Uh, they can be free. A lot of times that's a really attractive option to sellers. If you give them a few extra days or a couple weeks for free, um, that can help a buyer's offer get accepted. Um, but also they can do it on a per diem. Um, so they're paying a little bit per day uh, toward your mortgage payment. Um, so they're not staying there for free. So they could go either way. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have any other questions about seller rent backs um, and anything at all related to real estate. I'm here for you guys. Have a beautiful Sunday and enjoy the rest of the summer. Bye.